There was once a client told us that, hey, your, your commission fee is like 6%, is it? I was like, <laughs> ask you guys to submit some assumptions you have about Property Lean Brothers, our hiring practices, about our team culture. There are some questions that you guys have submitted that are very interesting. Let's find out whether it's a myth or a fact. Alright, the first assumption, expensive, high standard, rich people then can engage PLB. We, we, don't, we don't ask them to submit income proof uh, before engaging <laughs> us. Yeah, so we, we focus on people. We don't focus on the income level or the status of people. Basically, as long as our clients are genuine and really want our help, we'll be very happy to serve. So when a client calls in, what does the client care team ask? Client care team basically asks about uh, their plans and okay. then what stage are they in? Like are they in uh, the current planning stage to sell their place? What are their plans for the next home? Or have okay. they already purchased a home? And as well as their property address. So main thing is for our team to do research first so that we can okay. make the meeting fruitful. To add on, we yeah. have clients uh, who are currently in HDB apartments, in condo apartments, in landed as well. Mm. And of course, we do high-end properties. So there are different specialization for different kinds of uh, property needs. So, expensive, high standard, rich people then can engage PLB. Me. This person says, only sell property. We only sell property? Yeah, you only sell. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we started with the anger of really wanting to double down to help home sellers. So that was, uh, I would say, about four to five years back that uh, we focused a lot of our resource uh, on helping sellers to position their homes uh, with home staging, with uh, production for content, for video, ensuring that the home tour is really solid. I mean, like last two years, I would say that uh, we have helped a total of about 300 plus uh, home buyers purchase their, their new home and of course to invest in multiple properties. So I would say right now our team strength uh, is having like probably about 40% of our portfolio with uh, property investment and then 60% is, is really helping our home sellers. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a misconception that I probably had before I joined because of all the home tours online, right? It's like a lot of like selling, a lot of promoting properties. Yeah, but after joining, I think we've had the chance to work with a lot of buyers and investors also. Uh, interesting cases of... Sell, buy, rent, <laughs> yes, right? Okay, exactly. yeah. yeah. So sell, buy and rent is like uh, with one client. Yeah, so we help our clients to relocate to their new home as well. Okay, so only sell property? Myth! <laughs> This question, I am quite curious about, okay? I, I also want to know, is it true if joined PLB, within one year, can afford Conti car? <laughs> <laughs> you drive a Conti car, what? Yes, yeah, but Cooper anyway. is a Conti car. I didn't plan to get it. But so it suits I... your character. Yeah, I yes, like it. Yes. Yeah. Of course, some of our, our listing managers, uh, they drive continental cars. Uh, actually, for our inside sales team consultants, we don't advocate like going on socials to flaunt your branded stuff and all that. In fact, our, our team members, are, I think they are all very prudent. They focus on uh, having the first property first as a young consultant. So in fact, like uh, you look at Gavin, you look at Sean, uh, they already have purchased their first uh, property for investment. But of course, they usually will start off with uh, Japanese car first. Uh, of course, my rule is that I told our guys that if you want to be a full-time real estate consultant, you must have a vehicle because mm. that shows your level of commitment to your client. You don't want to take grab with your client to view properties. Of course, if you are in the midst of getting your license and stuff like that, we give you time, but uh, you must work towards having a vehicle. It doesn't have to be a continental car. If you intend to upgrade in future, that is your own management in terms of finance. So, um, is it sad to say that it's a myth? It's a, it's a, it's a half. Uh, it's a half. Yeah. yeah, it depends. It depends it on depends, their preference. It depends. But true that we definitely need a car. Uh, next question. Always playing and seems like you're always having events. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, a lot of the behind the scenes kind of footage, right, is because we want to share with our audience our real daily life. Yeah, so we just want to be authentic and real. So whatever you all see on our um, IGS, you all see on like 
or YouTube shots and all that. These are real stuff that are happening on a weekly and daily basis. And of course, we do have a lot of events, right? Yeah. Um, we have like our Christmas party, we have our client event that happened last year. Probably because we are a young uh, as well as dynamic team and we are very active on social media. That's why mm. people have that impression that we have a lot of events and stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we just want to share this happiness with our audience. Mm. So do you think that like uh, working hard and working, you know, having fun is mutually exclusive? Mm. I think it comes together because okay. as naturally as uh, our teammates when they enjoy work, they'll be seen as happy and having fun. Okay. Yeah, and happiness is a, it's a side effect. It's a, it's a positive okay. ripple effect. Since uh, you guys think we play too much, then now we can start <laughs> we'll live, stream. Like, live stream. Yeah, yeah. six hours, <laughs> work with me. It needs a bit of time. Actually, they're working upstairs, right? For the past like four hours. Oh, four so, hours up. Oh, since harder until now, 11. Really? Yeah. Seven hours, all right. So it's a myth, all right. I think this is probably the most receive assumption that we have. Okay, what's that? Any any guesses? What is the most receive assumption? Most receive assumption? Uh, am <laughs> I an Adrian Blood Brothers or anything? I think the one we answered in a, in a vlog before, we're not Blood Brothers. We're almost like real brothers already because we knew each other for 17 years now. Yeah, so we knew each other from the first day at prison officers training camp and uh, of course after three years we resigned and then we, we we started the real estate business together so six years back we started PLB there's one more question that is asked more than any of these assumptions okay, okay? Mm. this is a uh, controversial one I once heard that PLB charges a high commission of five percent oh okay there was one the client told us that hey your your commission fee is like six percent is it I was like yeah, what? Definitely a myth because uh, our fees are actually published on our website under the FAQ segment. So for landed properties, we charge between two to two and a half percent. For HDB apartments as well as condo apartments, we charge between two to three percent. Why is that a range? Is because it depends on the amount of uh, investment as well as expenses and costing into every listing, and uh, we only earn the, the fee once the property is successfully sold. This is like a partnership with our clients and we invest into every listing before we start. So we call this um, front load commitment from the team. Basically, we commit to every listing and if we don't sell, uh, technically, we don't get a chance to, to earn the professional fees. What about the, the marketing costs, the yes. thousands of dollars that you pump into the ads? Yes. Um, will they be built separately from this uh, 2 to 3% commission? Mm, it's all in. It's all into the fees. And of course, there's a lot of uh, intangible, unseen uh, costs. For example, for certain homes that are like vacant homes and we need to uh, pump in our staging furnitures because we have to rent them. And of course, there is manpower, uh, expertise, um, mm. Equipment. And of course, we have, uh, I would say, the largest in house real estate production team. We have 30 over video editors. They go through uh, intense training uh, every year. We have to upgrade our equipment uh, all the time. We take pride in the amount of work that our production team, as well as our consultant team, puts in. And of course, uh, all this uh, is really to serve our clients to the maximum potential. Expertise is a cost, right? Yes. It's uh, years of investing to a cameraman, years of investing into an editor, years yeah. of uh, sending up a training, upgrading, and all that. It's all an investment. And I think the best way would be to read at current date all our 286 Google reviews. I think you'll be able to have a good sense of roughly what will happen when mm. somebody works with us. All right. Okay, so this is definitely a myth. <laughs> it's a myth. It's a myth. All right. Okay, 5% is a myth. Okay. okay. TLB only hires people based on looks to get more views on YouTube. Oh my goodness. Then definitely I will fail lot because I got so many <laughs> more pink pimples, right? Uh, definitely is a myth. How can it be a myth? It's it is a myth. True. Okay, I, I do get a lot of comments like, you know, when guests or visitors come to office, they say that, hey, why your team is like, you know, so dynamic, so young and a lot of good looking people, very handsome guys here as well as very good looking ladies as well. We don't, we don't hire people based on looks. In fact, um, our hiring process for firstly for consultants and HQ and media team is quite similar to a certain extent that we look at uh, personality character. Consultants, uh, actually their um, level of interview is deeper. So they usually go through like four different rounds of 
uh, interview process. They come and look at the recruitment video, meet around two to three rounds, and then uh, finally, after discussion, where we decide to make an offer, then we make an offer. Uh, we look a lot on character. Um, we try to sense if this teammate is a suitable fit for the team, okay. whether this teammate is here for the long game, and uh, whether this person will conduct um, the real estate business with integrity. And when it comes to media HQ teams, similarly, we also look at character a lot. Yeah, because most importantly, I think we don't want to have somebody join the team and then it becomes a, a damage to the morale and the culture in the team. Okay. Yeah, so we look at um, a team players traits a lot. Yeah, we don't look at looks. Good yeah. looks is not one of them. No. To, to no. get more uh, views on we YouTube. Have a, we have a lot of veterans. I don't want to name names. Oh, yeah. It's Alan, <laughs> Christina, Reggie. Okay, so we have uh, people from different age category. Uh, of course, we have, I think, 70% are uh, young people. Uh, okay. And I think it's our aura, la, you know, like uh, because we, we do a lot of content, we are fast paced, we love to be creative. So I think we're also a very fun and hardworking bunch. Higher quantum equals higher quality video. Myth or fact? Higher quantum equals high. Okay, the only categorization we have is for HDB apartments. Uh, we categorize them and we edit them in a different manner. The reason is because for HDB homes, we wanted a more uh, kind of like a bang 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 approach, okay. right? With location, site plan, pricing, and then uh, renovation tips at the back. So for HDB, it's a different kind of editing storyboarding. For the rest of the properties, if it's a condo, if it's a lander, of course, higher quantum properties, sometimes it will be a longer video. Uh, smaller properties, for example, if it's a one beta or two beta or studio, you will find that it's usually about 10 to 12 minutes, but landed homes usually 15 to 25 minutes. So naturally, bigger homes takes a longer time to talk about things and to highlight the plus points, share perspectives, share analysis. So, so every video also, um, Firstly, it's all edited from scratch. They're all customized and edited differently. In fact, sometimes like a one beta is harder to sell than a landed because uh, it speaks to a different audience and maybe um, there needs to be a different style to speak to uh, investors that love one beta or couples that need a one beta. Yeah, so it has to be structured very differently. I wouldn't say it's a different quality. I would say that it is a different duration and different content. So I think if we can rephrase this, I think different quantum, different... Different style of Different editing. styles, mm. right? But uh, same effort. Yes, yeah, definitely. Same, same effort, same uh, thought process, same heart and soul that goes into it, but yes. we have to customize it to the viewer. We always try to be creative. We have to customize it to the, the home itself. Last one. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Last one of grilling you through uh, myths or facts. Okay, um, someone submitted Trendsetter in real estate industry. Do you try to be a trendsetter? I remember, you know, many years back, I mean, after doing real estate for nine to 10 years, we're just like very puzzled, you know, like why are homes always being marketed this way? Mm. And of course, that kickstarted us to think, like, you know, what can we do more? I think that we became the first to kickstart the uh, presenter format. For home tours, yeah, in uh, 2016 December. I still remember that time there was nothing, so we just started. It was like the first video. Uh, so that was the trend that kickstarted the whole thing. And uh, over the years, we then started micro trends within the home tour. Should we should we just sell a home in the current state? Should we advise our clients to declutter? And then of course that gave gave rise to you know now we have the very famous PLB decluttering guide. And of course all these things takes a lot of work. Uh, and that also gave rise to our PLB concierge service. Yes. And until now, we have our own internal staging division. Sometimes we will over innovate as well, right? Like we came out with all the motion graphics, and recently we came out with this whole bandwidth of 3D architecture visualization. Every visualization that is like five seconds takes like a week to create, yes. but it has proven to be so positive for our clients that we can manage to sell the whole faster and better. Yeah, and I think that adds a lot of value even to mm. buyers because they can then visualize, you know, how they can re renovate the place. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. actually uh, what we try to do is we try to help our sellers and help our buyers achieve their, their desired outcome. And yes. then as a side effect, you know, it what became a trend. That, yeah. I always believe that there's no 100% brand new ideas. Mm. Uh, creativity is a mix and match and modeling 
as well as improvement on top of certain things that has already been done. Most importantly is not to have that, you know, very formal mindset, yeah. but it is to think about what works best for your audience and your clients uh, at this point in time and then how can you be better? Uh, I think everyone at PRB really has a heart to always question, always, uh, you know, uh, yeah, we have a lot of why, why, why people, yeah. <laughs> we accept different ways of doing things and uh, I think only then can we, you know, break through from where we, where we are currently. I think that's the end of our... Uh, yes, we did it! <laughs> Thanks, Grace. She don't allow me to look at the questions. A huge look off my chest because I only... <laughs> No, because once in a while, people will ask me this question and then I have to explain, explain, explain and re-explain. I think one shot, you tabulated everything. Great. These are, I think, yeah, almost all the questions that I've always heard over the years. If you have any more questions about the team, if you uh, still have any, you know, burning assumptions that were not answered, feel free to leave a comment on our social media pages. And perhaps if there's even more questions, we can gather Melvin back again to do a round two. Alright, bye! Why are you so tall? What is your height? Uh, one eight three. True nah. or true or false? Nonsense. One eight three. <laughs> Can wash face ready? Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. yes. Can make up ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sa.